Welcome to Overflow Studios. It's Sin back again with another video. And today I'm going to be doing something for the first time. If you want to see what it is, stay tuned. T-shirt check. All right, T-shirtpreneurs. As y'all know, if y'all been keeping up with your girl, I've been telling y'all it's like a TV show. So you have to stay continuously checking in with me, watching my videos, or you're going to get behind and not know what's going on because I'm telling you, God, moving things right now. So if y'all been paying attention, I did get a new embroidery machine, which is right over here. And today I'm going to be stitching out a hat. And y'all, this is like really crazy. I'm telling y'all, it's really crazy. Like today is Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? It's today. I, look, y'all, I'm telling y'all, the way it's been so crazy, I don't even know what day it is. It's Thursday. So today is Thursday. I actually got my embroidery machine last Monday. It came in last Monday. It was supposed to come in on the Thursday before that Monday that it came in. So the, the same day that I got the embroidery machine, I unboxed it and everything. Y'all may have seen the videos. If not, I'm going to leave it up here or... Put it down below so y'all can check that out and once i unboxed it i did everything except for thread the machine because i ended up breaking the thread the it was like a little el cheapo threader thingy that came with the machine and i didn't know how to work it so i ended up breaking it but i threaded the machine and i couldn't like thread the needle so because i it was kind of dark and Y'all see the lights that I have up here. I'm going to try to get those replaced and get like some regular um, like shop lights in here so that I can see better now that I have this embroidery machine. But um, And I don't want to keep y'all on here just talking for, for a long time, but I did want to explain to y'all something. Like I just got this embroidery machine, y'all. I got the embroidery machine on Monday. I stitched something on Tuesday and by Thursday or Friday of that week, I actually got my first order. So my first order, I accepted the order. It was to print onto, it was to, I, I might say print instead of stitch, but it was to stitch onto a backpack. It was like a baby's backpack that they was using for like the baby bag. So they brought the backpack in here and I attempted to stitch on it. I could not even fit my hoop around it so i'm gonna have to you know order some more accessories for my machine i do have a few hoops y'all may have seen them in some of the other videos but if not y'all will eventually see them but i will be using the hat hoop today and this is not my first hat actually i actually did a couple of other hats that that was like samples and one that i was trying to get done for my electrician but Okay, so wait, I, I didn't even finish telling y'all the thing. Okay, so I got that first order and then I was unable to do it. So I had to contact the person and was like, hey, my hoops, it, I can't fit like where y'all want, want the stitch at. So I, I wasn't able to do it. So then today I actually got my second order, which is four shirts. But she said that she have 30 more that she'll probably get me to print but I think she kind of want to see what my work looks like so I'm gonna try to do a better job than what they did I actually sent the file off to be digitized because I wanted to do a good job on it you know hopefully everything will work out and I'll get the rest of that and I'll get the rest of their orders so we're gonna see but um I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna show you guys now right here this is what I'm going to be stitching onto this hat right here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, and y'all, I don't have everything set up like it's supposed to be. I, I'm, I'm going to have to go ahead and get the stand for this. But uh, one of the reasons I didn't order the stand is because I wanted to make sure I was going to be able to do this. And the stand is like 800 bucks, y'all. So I'm going to put a GoFundMe link down below this video so y'all can help me get to... No, I'm just playing. I'm, I'm not going to do the GoFundMe thing. But... um. I am going to end up getting the stand uh, for the machine and I did get the hat hoop which is back here. I showed that in another video. I don't know if I have posted that video yet but what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and put the hat hoop on here and then I'm going to hoop the hat 
and I'm only printing one hat today, y'all, and it is for my electrician, cause it, just to show appreciation, because he had asked me to do a hat before, and I tried on the heat press, but I didn't like how it came out. I didn't want to give that to anybody, but now your girl is a little bit fancy, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to see, you know, what we can do with this, and I'm going to let, let y'all check it out as I go. This is the hat hoop attachment, which is right here, and now... I'm kind of new with this thing. I have done a hat before. I, I Hopefully, I'll show y'all the video because it wasn't really nothing serious. It was just me trying to see if I could actually do a hat. So, and y'all, it's crazy because I have not even had training or nothing with this machine. The place where I bought it from, they, they will do training and, and help, but I have not had no training, like seriously. So, I'm going to go ahead, put the hat hoop on here. get down with this thing get down on the floor with this thing so I like this little stool comes in handy y'all <laughs> that is ready to go Okay, so I really don't have a, my hat hoop really set up right now because this thing right here, it was too, this table is too thick for this, so I kind of had to do a little makeshift something. Okay, so right now I have this on here, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the hat right here and I'm going to go ahead, actually I got to, I got to, I got to remember all the steps. Okay, so I got my stabilizer right here. So we'll go ahead and get a little bit off of here. And I'm using the tearaway stabilizer. The front of the hat is not so big, so I'm just going to get my scissors. And I've been trying to keep my scissors separated y'all my fabric scissors so right here i'm just gonna open up my little tool kit and grab these scissors that are only going to be for fabric from now on these, uh, these are actually new scissors i'm only using them for fabric now okay so i'm going to start cutting about right here and Y'all just act like y'all don't see that. Y'all just ignore all that. That that's not important. Let me see. And we just gonna slide it in here. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead slide this right here. And what I've learned is it's a little notch on here. I'm gonna show y'all right there. You see that little the little red notch right there. You have to when you first put it on there. You want to line it up slightly to the left of it so you put that on there and you got to make sure you flip this part up and this hat didn't come with a thing and actually i don't think this hat needs stabilizer but i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and use it anyway so we're gonna go ahead slide this thing on here and it comes with these little thingies right here so they're actually on the side of it go ahead and take them off all right so the hat is the hat is centered now so i'm gonna move this slightly slightly ever so slightly 
I'm gonna pull this thing right here over it. And while I'm holding it, I'm just gonna like try to make sure that every part of it is smoothed out, smoothed it out. And I be I be forgetting sometimes, y'all. Like it's a little thing right here. You want it to be right here. So it can catch right there. All right, so let me let me go through this one more time so I can make sure that y'all understand it. Because when you see people doing that, stop swinging. When you see people doing that, they, they don't always explain it exactly. And I had to kind of figure it out. All right, so got that sticking out. All right, so. Now we got that part. We're gonna turn it a little bit to the right. Then we're gonna grab this and pull it over. We're gonna try to push that up a little bit more because we want that to be as close as we can get it to the brim of the hat right there or the, y'all know what I mean. I'm going to bring this over here, y'all. This is kind of low for me because y'all know I'm, I'm kind of tall. All right, so we're going to put it slightly, slightly to the left. All right, so now when we lock it in, boom. Is it centered? It's centered. Just basically centered. All right. Yeah, it's pretty much centered. Might be slightly off, but we are gonna go with it like that. We are gonna rock with it. All right, so just take this, these things, and you can clamp them on here. If I can clamp them on here. If I don't drop them all. So you just take this and you, you pull it tight and clamp it on here like so. Got to make sure that I get it off of that because it's got the plastic, that plastic part right there. Go ahead. I'm going to just unsnap it back here. And I'm doing the same thing on the other side. All right. So there we go. All right. So hopefully we got everything straight enough. I'm going to let y'all check it out. So that's what it's looking like right there. Hopefully everything is straight enough. So I'm going to go ahead now and put it on the embroidery machine. All right. Make sure we got it clamped on there good. And we do. Next thing we're going to do is come here and we're going to find the design. So we choosing that one and we're going to stitch it. I guess we're going to stitch it in green because that was the original color that he wanted. So we're going to set. As y'all see right here, it is still in the spot that it was supposed to be in for embroidery. But um, yeah, we're going to try to start it about right there. Okay, so... We got to flip it upside down, as y'all see right there, because it's going to be on the hat. We're going to start at the bottom. And so we're going to say set because we're choosing that. And now it's slightly off center right there. Slightly off center. So oh, I moved the wrong way. You have to move it the opposite. Okay, so it's going right right there. there so I'm gonna hit set and now it's gonna say tracing is executed so we're gonna hit yes oh it's wrong I'm gonna get the error code okay 
All right, so I messed up, y'all. Sometimes I do mess up, so I'm going to go back and uh, redo it over because what I'm going to have to do is take the whole hat thing off, y'all. That's the, the pain in the butt thing about this sometimes. But I, I don't know what I was doing. I just kind of had it in the wrong place. But we're going we gonna to work it out. All right, so... Hopefully I got everything right this time. So what, what I'm about to do is uh, go ahead, choose the thread colors and everything, just like I did before. We're going to flip it. We're going to start at the bottom. I hit set. Okay, so now we have to center it. It's pretty much centered. Looks pretty close to center to me. So we have to do that. We're going to hit set. And it's saying tracing is executed. So we're going to trace. Now, if it don't work this time, I know it's too big. Okay. I think it's working. No, it's saying your driver is irregular. I don't know. So, y'all, if I can get this thing figured out, we're going to print this hat. Like Now, the other day, I was just printing hats. I printed two hats the other day. So we're going we gonna to try this and see what the problem is maybe it's too too big all right y'all so the design was too big i gotta remember the measurements for the design because i i be making it too big sometimes so it should work this time y'all but we about to see all right so so we're gonna try it again okay i got it everything set up is it centered it's a little bit off center oh. All right, that, that should be perfectly centered. So we're going to go on here. I made a new design right here. So it's called Smaller Bub. All right, so we're going to grab that Smaller Bub right there. We're going to hit Set. Okay, we got it set right there. It's on green already. Set. Okay, we're going to flip it. Okay, so it's right, right there. So... Go ahead and let it run through. It's where it needs to be. So we hit set. Tracing is executed. Yes. So we're going to trace. It's still giving me the error, y'all. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. What I'm about to do, I'm going to retry it one last time. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm going to retry one last time and I'm going to use the one that I already stitched before to just to try to see if it's going to let it work. Y'all, I hope this works. Now, I shrunk the design down. I redid it. I didn't take the frame off this time. I'm going to leave it on there and I hooped the hat better because I did do a sloppy job of hooping. So, we're going to see if tracing is, is going to work this time. We're going to trace it and we're about to see. It's still not working. Y'all, I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know. Don't know what's going on with it. I just printed hats. I, I'm going to have to put some video in here to show y'all some of the hats that I printed just in case I y'all didn't check those videos out or whatever. But I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's not wanting to do the hats right. I don't know. I'm gonna, this is my last time trying right here for tonight and if not I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna finish this video y'all because it's kind of getting irritating like I just printed I just did the design right here y'all even though it's it's a hat design I just did it right here just to test out and see because it's saying that the x and y axis is the issue with it or whatever I don't know what's going on I'm just gonna try to uh i don't know all i know to do is stop it at this point so and like i gotta turn the whole thing off again and just start it over and that's kind of irritating to me and i don't i don't know what what the deal is because i just did hats like a few days ago 
And I'm going to see, like, it's going to give me the same error code with this hat thing on. I'm pretty sure. So, I, I don't know, y'all. It's kind of frustrating at this point when I just did hats yesterday. And I feel like I know more today than I did the other day. So, I'm going to see if it's going to do what it do. Says Y driver signal detected. I don't know what's going on with it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this hat driver off because I had to take the hat driver off last time I was doing it. back on again because I don't know I don't know y'all I hate to be on here the whole time uh, with y'all having all these issues but hey y'all so I just tried doing the hat you know, doing the thing and I still got the same error right here. But when I tried it this time, I did not put the hat on there because I didn't know. Um, I know the first time I was trying to do hats and when I asked the guy about, you know, and I told the guy what happened, he said that the design was too big or whatever. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. It's still doing the same thing. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I really don't know what's going on. When I looked that up, it said to replace the Y driver. When I looked up the information, I looked up a thing and it's got like all the codes and troubleshooting and it's doing fine unless I try to do hats. And I was having an issue like this before when I was trying to do hats. So I don't know what the problem is with it. I really don't know. And it's very irritating that you'll try to do a hat and you mess up and then you have to remove the whole hat thing off of there. I don't know if all embroidery machines are like that, but I'm thinking, no, they're not. But I mean, it's hectic to have to remove this hat thing off. It, it's very hectic to have to remove it off of here every time it's an issue. So I got it, got it off. I'm going to turn it off again because it's like every time it don't have a reset button or anything that I have found on here. So you got to like turn it off every single time. And you know when it go, it, it takes a long time. I mean, it's not just a long time, but it's long for what it is. You know, it's long. Like I'm going to let y'all see what happens when, okay, I just turned it on. And it's going through whatever motions it's going through. And it just takes a minute to do that. Y'all see how long it's taking and it let me know, hey, I'm on. But the screen is still um, blacked out. So now it's processing. It says 100%. All right, so now and then this is another thing I don't like, but I guess it's for a safety reason because I don't like putting passwords. All right, so now it's on. 
And it, do you want to, yes, go ahead and perform it. Because if you don't, I won't be able to use this machine. So, yeah, do what you got to do. All right, now I don't have a hat thing on. We're going to go through here and see what it does. We're going to rotate it like we got the hat on there. We're going to hit set. And let me make sure. I'm just going to pretend that it's centered and I'm going to hit set. Tracing is executed. It says design is too large. Okay. Let me try another thing. Let me go home. Yes, return to home screen. Okay, now let me try. I'm going to try this other little design. And I don't see how that design is too small because I just. I don't even know. It said design is too large. Now it's giving me a different code. All right, y'all. I guess I kind of got it. I don't know how this hat is going to come out, but it's going to be what it's going to be because I had to like resize the design. I don't, I really didn't feel like resizing the design was the problem, but it did trace and it say it's ready to print. So I'm going to bring y'all over here and hopefully. This time, I won't be letting y'all down. Let me do this right here. So, it already traced. Now, it just says to press start. So, I'm going to go ahead. And I asked it to start at the bottom. But it's starting at the top for whatever reason. Let me fix this thread. All right, y'all. I should have it fixed this time, y'all. I should have it fixed this time. Let me go ahead and put the hat back on here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these little strings off right here. Reset. And... I don't think it had did much, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit start. I don't think it did too much. I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Hopefully, I won't mess it up. Doggone. Up a thread break. Y'all, y'all, I knew that was going to happen. I already knew that was going to happen. I already knew that was going to happen, but I should have did better. Y'all give me a sec. All right, y'all. I, I got to fix. I got to fix. I'm going to go ahead, push the needle cover down, and I'm going to hold it while it starts to sew. And hopefully it'll go ahead and catch, and we'll be good. Okay, it broke again. Dang it. Let me see. I'm going to loosen up this uh, thing again a little bit and see if that, if that helps. Y'all, this video was not supposed to be super duper long. This was supposed to be a little short video. I'm supposed to be at home chilling right now. So we got green right here. I don't know if it is an issue with tension or what. But all I did, I just loosened it up, up there a little bit. I don't know. I really need to get some better thread too, y'all. 
Because this is just like whatever thread they sent me. My bad. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. But this is just like whatever thread they sent me. I'm going to cut some of this off right here. Because that's very long. And I'm going to go ahead thread the machine. And I got to get some better lighting up in here. All right. Y'all, I don't even know. Like, I ain't even been having no problems with this thing. I, I mean, I just printed, did hats off video the other day. No problems, but now all of a sudden problems. So I holla at y'all in another video. Print squad out. Y'all, I know I ended the video, but I figured out what the problem was. Kind of. I'm going to show y'all. Now, I done changed the needles and everything, but this right here was in here. And I believe it happened. I don't even know exactly why it happened, but... It's, it's just a little issue going on with my bobbin thing. I'm trying to get all of that out of there. And then maybe tomorrow. But tomorrow I got another order to do. Um, it's going to be my first paid order that I can actually do if I can get this thing going. So I'm going to, um, I don't know. I'm going to get ready to uh, go home and have a bright and early start in the morning so maybe i'll see y'all then all right print squad so it's a whole nother day i found out i found out why i was having an issue i was able to print the two hats i printed this one first but it was after i had like i had been having a headache well not really a headache but this machine had been giving me a headache and i had been um using it but y'all know what it's just it's something about this i don't know it must be something about sewing or something that just like brings me peace because like the whole time even when i was having the issues with this machine i have not got upset y'all probably could tell on the on the earlier part of the video when i was having the issues i mean it's like irritating and frustrating but i have not got upset and i don't know what it is i don't know if it's the sewing the the thread the sound i don't know what it is but it's just like you know it calms me or something and at this time right now i'm just really enjoying embroidery even though sometimes i have a few issues but usually when it's an issue it's something that i'm not paying attention to like you when when something happens, it's certain things that you need to check and because i'm new to embroidery i you know sometimes i don't check those things like putting the uh just putting the bobbin in i put the bobbin in but you have to like push it to where it clicks because when you put it in there it'll stay but if you don't push it to where it clicks it's not in the correct position and it caused a bunch of issues for me yesterday and that was why i couldn't i kept having upper needle breaks and when the upper needle is breaking i'm thinking it's something wrong up top but now i've learned if a needle breaks I, i'm sorry I say, i'm saying a needle but it, it was saying an upper thread break and because it was saying upper thread break i'm thinking there's something wrong with up top and then the issue is the bobbin the whole time that's causing the break so instead of me checking the bobbin because i'm new to this i'm checking up top trying to see if there's something going on up there and even thinking maybe this is bad thread and you know i don't know what's going on so then by the time i did try to take the hat off it was stuck to the bobbin case it was a big mess a bird they call it a bird's nest of thread horrible mess i was still cleaning it out at uh past midnight last night y'all and i finally got it done but here are the two hats that i printed or y'all know i may say printed but y'all know what i mean here are the two hats right here so right here y'all can kind of see um, what they looking like 
um i guess the yellow one is gonna be all right i would have rather put orange but i do, do not have orange thread i need to purchase some more thread and if y'all look at this uh i did change it up i changed that green up if you look if you look right there it's thicker slightly i mean it's well i don't know it don't really look different to me but that's what the green one that's what the green one is looking like right there y'all can check that out and then we got the the yellow one right here and that that is what the yellow one is looking like right there i don't know on camera the green one stands out more and looks better but in real life off camera the yellow one looks better to me so i don't know i would have liked to put orange but that's what it is and it's another thing too like i don't really like i don't know maybe it's these hats because when i was talking to the the uh the rep or the tech or whatever now these things right here they are uh i don't know it's just the the structure it's got like a lot of structure and like this hat the bill is kind of hard so when it's pushing up against the back of the, of the thing the machine is uh noticing that it's uh you know it's some it's a little resistant so he was telling me that you know because of that i'm not able to get as far down on this hat like if you look at this hat right here this is a real tree hat and if you look at my hat this one is further down but also this one is not like a structured hat like this hat right here it's it's like structured so you can hear that it's you know it's hard inside there so that's another thing right there too i'm probably gonna try to get hats that are not so structured but because i'm kind of just getting started with this you know things are you know i just i gotta learn that i mean not that doing structured hats is bad but i don't know I'm, I'm still learning but i'm actually loving it and i just want to jump on here and give y'all a quick update before i end the video but i appreciate y'all watching and and i will see y'all in another video be blessed